Hey, what's up everyone? It's Jimbo back for another video. In today's video, it's not really a cheap versus expensive, but in a way, I guess it kind of is. It's, it's well, one's only $3 more than the other one, so not really a cheap versus expensive. But today, we're gonna be doing a demo on this 1965 Chevy Malibu with horrendous paint behind us. And uh, we're gonna be demoing uh, everyone's favorite, or at least my favorite, HD Speed, uh, which we know plenty about it. And it is sun friendly, so I'm trying to, I try to have the car in a very shaded area, but both these products are, do say they are sun friendly. We have HD Speed, and then we have something new by 3D. This is 3D1. They said it's a cutting compound and finishing polish. So if you read the directions on the back of the bottle, um, it does say just to switch your pad. So they also, and 3D sent me all this stuff. It's not sponsored because I'm gonna give my unbiased opinion, but they did send this stuff to me. So, hey, thanks for the speed. I needed some. Um, anyway, so I'm using their spider pad. This is actually their heavy cutting spider pad and I'm gonna use it on a porter cable. Um, because if it works on a porter cable, it'll definitely work on other the other more expensive machines, right? So uh, this is their new, I guess it's kind of like an all-in-one, but it's, they're saying it's more of a compound and it really depends on what pad you're using uh, for the results that you're gonna get. And according to the directions, they want you to start with their heavy cutting pad and then work to the finish pad. So we're gonna try that and see what kind of results we get. I love labels. So one thing I wanted to show you on the label, um, Let's see, where did it go here? I thought this was very interesting and I think it's just a bunch of verbiage. It has specific, specially engineered nano ceramic alumina abrasives. What the frig is that? Nano ceramic alumina abrasives that easily corrects paint scratches using a DA or high speed rotary, rotary polisher. So it's a unique product. Apply on a cutting pad to remove heavy scratches, then apply on a finishing pad to deliver exceptional high gloss finish. Easy to use, easy to clean up, and leaves that perfect finish every time. Works best when applied in shaded areas, but also is sun friendly. So we're gonna work in a mainly shaded area, but also be sun friendly. I'm actually kind of excited for this product because I think this is where the industry is moving. And you know, before we went, we had the three products. I think we are moving to a one product, uh, a one product industry with changing up the pads, which maybe we we're always there and just got baited into all these buying three products instead of one. Anyway, let's get started on the hood of this car. Okay, so as we could see working in a mainly shaded area on this yellow paint, Here's a scan grip, and you can see there, the paint is, if it's not picking it up on the camera, there's a sun over there, but if it's not picking it up in the camera, it's super chalky. Almost looks like a bad respray, but we'll see. So, on one side I'm gonna do HD speed, clean the pad, and on the other side I'm gonna do the HD one. Okay, so I just did the uh, HD1 with the spider pad, and I wanted to show you what we're looking at now. I haven't done the other side, but that's, you know, it's, it does look like a bad paint job, but that brought back a lot of gloss. That's where we're at. That's where we got essentially the cutting stage. There's the side I'm going to do HD speed next. And there's HD, or I guess it's 3D1. All right, let's do HD speed. All right, so here's the HD speed side. I'm really hoping this camera picks it up. the HD speed side right at that body line is where we switched so that is regular or where we started that is HD speed so again where we started HD speed 
and here's the HD1 side. Now I'm going to finish both uh, with the finishing pad. So I'm going to do one more step with the finishing pad on both sides and then I'm going to alcohol wipe it. To me, in person, it looks the same. It looks like they, they did the same job. But let's keep going. All right, so this is the after the second step of the 3D one. Honestly, no added benefit on the finishing pad. In my opinion, it would not be worth, there's the HD speed side. Here is the uh, 3D one. And then there's the original. So we did come a long way. It definitely clean the paint up even though this is a bad respray so this is kind of a worst case scenario but it made a significant def uh, difference I just didn't see enough of a difference from in that second step to really justify it there was no hazing or anything in the first cutting step maybe it would be different on a different car but I really don't I, I can't justify that second step I actually think it cleaned it up perfectly in the first step and honestly the HD speed and the one even in person I don't know if the camera's picking this up but they look the same let's go get a little alcohol and wipe the panel see if that makes a difference all right here's some I always just say alcohol because or IPA because I can never say isopropical isopropa whatever anyway a couple spritz here no you're fine Spray that and what I'm going to do, this is the HD speed side, I'm going to take it right here, hello, and wipe right here, rub it off, or try to, there, there's three, and I'm going to flip the towel, take it over on this side, douse it, and alcohol, this is the 3D one side for only the 18th time in this video saying that. There's two, three with the alcohol. Okay, let's get the scan grip out, see what we came up with real time. Okay, so there's, here's the original. Really chalky, cloudy, horrible. Here's HD speed two-stepped Wow after the alcohol wipe nothing looks the exact same that's great it didn't get wiped off with alcohol at all it looks looks the exact same even after an alcohol wipe here's the one side there's where I wiped it with the alcohol there's where I didn't 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 an original, so you can see how freaking cloudy that is. There's where the one is. There's after alcohol wipe. Even in person, it looks the exact same even after the alcohol wipe on both sides. They both look identical, even after the alcohol wipe. The cloudiness, the fogginess did not come back at all, interesting. All right, everyone, that concludes this video of the HD Speed versus the 3D1. As you can see, it's kind of a toss-up. You really can't go wrong. I mean, I, and part of me wants to say, other than, you know, I did do the sniffy sniff test. This one kind of smells like a lotion and more like a compound where the HD Speed has a, definitely a more pleasant grape smell. But honestly, they, they're the same and at least in this comparison and the testing will continue at least on my end but from what I see they're almost the same. I used it on a rotary with a wool pad with phenomenal results and as you can see after the alcohol wipe I guess you could make the argument that you know alcohol may not remove everything but in previous videos it's removed waxes and sealants so I don't really know what to say. They're both good. 
uh, you can go either way. HD or 3D One is about three dollars more expensive on their website than HD Speed. Um, but my conclusion is they're pretty, they're gonna give you pretty much the same results, at least on this car. If something changes, I will make sure to update you guys, but maybe save the three bucks and just get HD speed. I don't know, maybe you can even find it cheaper on Amazon. But wanted to do that review for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any feedback, of course, leave it in the comments below. And I use that information to try to get better at these videos, to try to hit all the objections in the video to give you a tried and true result. So once again, thanks to 3D for sending all this stuff out. Um, and for the you, the user at home, you can get pretty good results out of both of these very versatile products, even on a crappy repaint like this that's doled out and, and oxidized. So hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hit the big red subscribe button and I'll catch you on the next episode. See ya.